Well, ladies and gentlemen, I had a prepared speech this evening, but I thought coming here tonight up on the cable car or the gondola uh, that Tony wouldn't necessarily appreciate that. So I thought it would be better just to offer some words about myself and why I'm so very honored to Linda and John and, and Jennifer and Rick, because as an American who grew up abroad, as my accent might suggest, uh, I always felt slightly distant from my home country because America to me has always been my home country. And to be given this incredible award, and I'm very humbled, I, Tony was a truly great man, not simply by his political work and his uh, intellectual thoughts, but also by his character and his sense of humor. Although I'm, I'm trying to avoid attempts at humor tonight because I suspect it wouldn't be uh, uh, as good as Tony could do. But uh, I'm very honored. Uh, and I would simply say that as a young American, who looks around the world and, and grew up abroad, I am personally aware of the importance of the United States, the intrinsic importance of American exceptionalism. If you look around the world today, uh, whether it's Eastern Europe or the Pacific or the Middle East, America is the nation that is indispensable. And we can have our debates about foreign policy and national security, which we have to after Iraq and Afghanistan, but there should be no doubt that America has always been an incredible force for good. Uh, one of my formative experiences as a young man was growing up in the UK. My, my father, uh, who was a sort of Robert De Niro out of Meet the Parents figure, watching uh, The Sands of Iwo Jima. And that final scene uh, where you have the Marines who've been formed uh, in war, and, and my grandfather was a US Pacific Marine, so there's a personal attachment. And they say, right, let's, let's get back in the war. And, whether it's the United States military or America, America has been the intrinsic force for good. But at the domestic side as well, with the approach by some liberals, many liberals in fact, to try and replicate a European social welfare state, having grown up in Europe, I am, again, personally aware that the United States' success has been intrinsic upon our embrace of capitalism and freedom. And that actually, if you look at Europe, uh, whether it's 54% youth unemployment in Spain, uh, social tensions in France, excessive taxation. It is not the utopia it is presented to be. So I would simply conclude by saying that I hope to follow in Tony's footsteps in some small manner. I know that I, I really will never be able to do him justice, but I am, I, I am greatly honored and I will do everything I can to wear those shoes with the respect that they deserve. So thank you very much indeed.